In this video, I'm going to show you how to separate the shadow from the color in an image so that they're on separate layers. The first thing I'm going to do is start with a white t-shirt for this example. I'm going to create two new layers on top of it. I am going to select the bottom image, the background image of the shirt. I'm going to select it all, control A, control C to copy, come over to channels, new alpha channel, control V to paste, change the alpha channel to uh, that layer, control I to invert and then control D to deselect. So now nothing is selected. Now I'm gonna select just the light values of this alpha channel by holding control and clicking on the thumbnail. Come back over to the layers panel, select layer two, shift F5, this topmost layer here. I'm shift F5, that's the fill menu, fill with black. Okay, so what I've got is just a layer of the shadow values totally separated, no color, uh, and fully transparency capable. I'm going to turn these two layers back on, hide the top two layers actually, and let's select our shirt layer again. Let's make a color layer. I'm going to cut out this shirt so that I have an outline of it selected. You can do this a number of ways. But this is a simple image, so I'm going to just use Object Selection Tool and just trace around it. And that'll do a pretty good job of, of collecting everything there. I'm going to click on the... Uh, layer mask button here to set a layer mask and I'm gonna drag this layer mask just click and drag it up to layer one now I'll hide this background layer so on layer one we're gonna make this our color layer so I have it selected make sure you've got the layer selected and not the layer mask and I'm gonna use shift F5 again oops let's turn it on so I can see it shift F5 and let's do any old color blue is fine okay and there's our color layer so now when I turn layer two on which is our shadow layer, the shadow comes in. I'm gonna make that a little bit darker very easily. You can just right click and duplicate this layer. Let's make two of them. And because they're transparency layers, they'll stack onto each other. You don't have to use a, uh, a layer style or uh, a special effect or any of these, any of these extra layer uh, options. You've just got the layer on its own, just the shadow layer. I'll select these two and merge them together. And now these two layers are ready for export individually. You can export a color layer export just your uh, shadow layer and you can change your color layer to anything you can change it to say uh, you know just any other color I'll do a color overlay by putting a layer style on here here it is I can make it red I can make it you know, green or orange whatever I like or you can even put a pattern in there and that layer mask will block everything with the outline of the shirt and the shadows will be preserved so that's how you do it uh, any questions leave us comments and I appreciate likes and subscriptions